Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem we're looking at the curve y is equal to 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 12x plus 1. And we're asked at what points on this curve is the tangent line going to be horizontal? So we can think of this as the slope of the tangent line being equal to 0. And the slope of the tangent line we can find using the derivative. So first, actually finding the derivative, we have these four terms. We have this constant at the end here. So that's just going to have a plus 0 at the end because the derivative of a constant is 0. So we can just ignore that. So we're dealing with these three terms. If we write x to the first power here, since that is what x is, we can see that this is three power functions. So we can use the rules that we've learned with power functions to find the derivative. So if we go start with this term, you take the coefficient and you bring it out front, multiply it by the exponent, and then your new exponent is you subtract 1 from the old exponent. Doing that again, take the coefficient, multiply by the exponent, subtract 1. Finally, coefficient, exponent, subtract 1. I can just make a little bit of room there. Again, the coefficient here is 1, so it's just 1 minus 1. Now, this is something we can simplify. y is equal to 2 times 3 is 6. x to the 3 minus 1 is x squared, plus 3 times 2 is 6. x to the 2 minus 1 is x to the first power, which is just x, minus 12 times x to the 0. x to the 0 is just 1, so this is 12 times 1, which is just 12. Now, Again, we are looking to find when is the derivative 0, when is the slope of the tangent line 0. Those are the same thing in this situation. So if we set this equal to 0, we can find for what values of x the derivative is 0. So we have a quadratic. We can solve it. If you notice, everything is divisible by 6. So we'll make it a lot easier to solve if we get rid of those. We get 0 here is equal to 1x squared plus 1x minus 12 divided by 6 is minus 2. Now this is something that's really easy to factor. We have x and x factors of negative 2 that add to positive 1. It's going to be positive 2 and negative 1. Up here, x is equal, or I can take the extra step. For this to be 0, one of these has to be 0, so x plus 2 equals 0, or x minus 1 equals 0. And just solving for these, we get x is equal to negative 2, and x is equal to 1. So the points on the curve where the tangent is horizontal, these are the x values of those points, but we actually have to find the y values too. And remember, we're not plugging these into here because that's going to find you the derivative. We're going to plug it into here to give you the y value. So for negative 2, that's going to be 2 times negative 2 cubed plus 3 times negative 2 squared minus 12 times negative 2 plus 1. Here we go. Negative 2 cubed is negative 8 times 2 is negative 16. Negative 2 squared is 4 times 3 is 12. Negative 12 times negative 2 is plus 24, and then plus 1. And this is going to be negative 4 plus 25, which is 21. We do the same thing by plugging in 1 for the other point. And we get y is equal to 2 times 1 cubed plus 3 times 1 squared minus 12 times 1 plus 1. This is equal to 2 plus 3 minus 12 plus 1. Which, if you find 2 plus 3 plus 1 is 6, minus 12 is negative 6. So the points on the curve where the tangent is horizontal, we have negative 2, 21. And we have 1, negative 6. And that's going to be the final answer. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.